Which goat is the greatest athlete of all time? Today, that's going to be decided by a game of King of the Hill. I have taken the two greatest athletes, in my opinion, in six different sports and put them onto this King of the Hill map. The rules are simple. One man starts on top of the hill. I will then spin a wheel of the remaining goats to find an opponent. Once we have a matchup on top of the hill, I spin the wheel of challenges. Whoever wins that challenge will remain on top of the hill for their next challenger, where the other one will be deleted from King of the Hill. And this continues until there's just one goat remaining. Remaining. And I do have to give a shout out to Pajor on YouTube. We did this with FC24. Go check it out. And to find out which goat will start on top of the hill, I did a quick Google search where I found out that they ranked Michael Jordan as the greatest athlete of all time. So he'll start on top. And let's find out which goat will be the opponent for Michael Jordan. And it will be, is it going to be Mario Lemieux or Wayne Gretzky? It's going to be Mario Lemieux of the NHL. And the first challenge of the video will be... To win a game. And we will start with the all-time Bulls and Michael Jordan. And the Bulls will be taking on a random team of the all-time Phoenix Suns. Michael Jordan and the Bulls dominate the Phoenix Suns in classic Michael Jordan fashion. And we wait to see them close it out. Michael Jordan and the all-time Bulls, they destroy the Phoenix Suns. So now the pressure is on Mario Lemieux. He needs to win his first game or he's gone and Jordan moves on. And now we see if Mario Lemieux can tie. Michael Jordan. And the team Lemieux will be facing is the Detroit Red Wings. For Mario Lemieux and the all-time Penguins, things are not going great as they find themselves down 6-3 to three with about a minute to go. This would have to be the biggest comeback in NHL history if it were to happen. But Steve Eiserman over the blue line, he might make it 7-3. Didn't quite do that, but Lemieux, will he touch the puck here? He's out there. They got to score three goals in 10 seconds. It's not looking good. They're off the puck. And I think Mario Lemieux, as the clock is going to strike zero, will be eliminated. So we say goodbye to Mario Lemieux. And now for Michael Jordan's next opponent, it will be LeBron James. And for LeBron versus Jordan in this video, would you have it any other way? It's going to be the first rival, so they're going head-to-head -head in a game. The battle of LeBron and Jordan in their primes is a complete flop because Michael Jordan and the Bulls destroy the Cavaliers. Michael Jordan once again, and this time it's going to mean even more as he beats LeBron James and will remain on top of the hill. Unless LeBron James is going to score 19 points in 12 seconds, he will dribble the ball out. Michael Jordan again will remain on top of the hill as the clock is about about to hit zero and for a little bit more bragging rights over LeBron this was an NBA Finals matchup best of one so he's gonna get the Larry O'Brien and the confetti at his home stadium and congratulations to Michael Jordan now he's a seven-time NBA champion so we say goodbye to King James it's too early to say anything obviously but can Jordan possibly go coast to coast next up he's got to take on John Cena and let's see what the challenge is gonna be between John Cena and Michael Jordan they're going to have to go into a neutral sport and play each other to see who wins. With John Cena in the WWE and Jordan in the NBA, we have four other sports games they can go into, and they're going to face off one-on-one -on -one in the NHL. And this hockey game between Michael Jordan and the Blackhawks versus Cena and the Oilers is tied 2-2 two to two, thanks to a goal by John Cena. And here we go. Jordan's on the ice. Cena's on the ice to start overtime next goal wins is it going to be cena or jordan that wins it and we'll see right here bouchard skating in looking for cena goes to mcdavid john cena has the puck he's kicking it to the point they take a shot that one's blocked and can we get it to jordan now taylor hall jordan skating towards the net oh he doesn't pass it to him though and he gets laid out and here comes cena back up the ice and now here come the Oilers, and it's over! Michael Jordan has been dethroned from King of the Hill as Cena's team wins it in the NHL. But we say goodbye to Michael Jordan. And who will be John Cena's opponent for the first time on top of the hill? He will take on, is it going to be Willie Mays or Patrick Mahomes? It is Willie Mays of the MLB. And let's see what the challenge will be between Mays and Cena. It is going to be highlight views. I will be going onto YouTube and searching both names with highlights after it. Then for the first video that pops up, whoever has more views wins. All right, let's see how many views Willie Mays highlights has first. And Willie Mays, the first video that pops up is 35,000. So John Cena has to be 35,000 views. John Cena highlights have... 
We have a sponsored video. Then we have a video. 5.6 million views for John Cena. And Willie Mays has been eliminated. And who will John Cena be taking on next? He'll be taking on Lionel Messi. What is the challenge between Cena and Messi? It's gonna be a race. And to ensure they both run the same distance, I'll be putting both players into Madden 24 with their speed rating from their respective games. And we're off. Lionel Messi versus John Cena in a 100-yard dash. Lionel Messi with more speed. Looks like he might take this one, and Messi is gonna win. And Cena's reign on top of this hill is over. And with Lionel Messi now on top of the hill, who does he face next? It's Patrick Mahomes. And for Messi and Mahomes, what will the challenge be? First to score. And we got the stopwatch going as Mahomes, the challenger at the King of the Hill spot, is up first in the NFL. Stopwatch is going. They need to get in the end zone for a touchdown. One advantage that Messi's going to have over Mahomes is that there's no stoppages in the first half or the second half for that matter, in soccer slash football, where in the NFL, there are stoppages after every play. But I would say it's a lot harder to get a goal than it is to get a touchdown. So we will see what Messi can do. Mahomes almost at two minutes here. Mahomes to Rasheed Rice, and he almost gets the first. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Gotta get ready to stop the stopwatch. It could be a touchdown of all people. Kadarius Tony down at the one. Second and goal, ready to stop the stopwatch here. If Mahomes can get in the end zone, play action. Then Mahomes is taken down. What a choke. Should have just ran the ball. This time it's a screen. It's Pacheco, and they will not get the touchdown. They kick three, and we gotta do another drive. Eventually. 11 and a half minutes. I think Messi can beat that, but we will find out if Mahomes can get in the end zone with his team. And Pacheco has the touchdown. 11 minutes, 37 seconds. And Messi has a rematch of the World Cup. It is Argentina. France and we have the countdown now instead of the stopwatch to go down from 11 minutes 37 seconds for Argentina to score as soon as Argentina scores if it's before this countdown expires that'll be the win for Messi and speaking of Messi he's got the ball don't tell me he's in a score already will Messi get the goal Messi doesn't have to get the goal because Mahomes necessarily didn't have to get the touchdown so it's only fair. Here is Messi though. Alvarez trying to shoot that one. That one's blocked. We got Alvarez again. Argentina applying the pressure. Can we see Messi score this goal? That would be very interesting. Messi has it. Messi trying to go to work over there. Trying to kick it back. This game on legendary difficulty is a different animal. I am terrible at this game. McAllister. Here comes Argentina though. They score. What a shot by Alvarez. The countdown with 7 minutes 50 on the clock. Argentina scores, which means Messi is still king of the hill. And with that goal, Patrick Mahomes is eliminated. And who will Messi's next challenger be? It's going to be Tom Brady or Babe Ruth. It is going to be Babe Ruth. And the challenge of Ruth and Messi will be... It is going to be all-time championships. Similar to the highlights challenge, I will be Googling Babe Ruth and Lionel Messi with the word championships after, and however many it says they have, whoever has more moves on. Starting off with the challenger after searching Babe Ruth championships, he won a total of seven World Series titles. Lionel Messi's hardware is utterly ridiculous with 34 total trophies. Amongst those trophies, 21 championships with 10 La Liga titles, seven Copa del Rey titles, and the champion league four times and that will do it for babe ruth's time here on king of the hill what a showing so far from Lionel messi with four challengers remaining he could possibly win the entire king of the hill but next up is wayne gretzky and what's the challenge for messi and gretzky it is the highest overall ultimate team card that either one has starting with the challenger wayne gretzky the highest overall wayne gretzky you can get right now in hockey ultimate team is a 94 overall and after logging into fc24 for Lionel messi he's a 97 overall in ultimate team goodbye wayne gretzky only three more competitors remain to face Lionel messi and next up is Tom Brady. Let's see what the challenge is for Brady versus Messi. It's going to be swap sport, which means Messi is headed to the NFL and Tom Brady is headed to the MLS. And whoever scores faster wins. Can Tom Brady 
capitalize here. Tom Brady might score the goal. He had a shot opportunity. It was blocked in front. Now his teammate to shoot. That one is saved with 55 seconds on the clock. That would have been huge. But here comes Tom Brady's team. Can they put one in the net? And no, they can't. They turn it over again at the last second. This is the best chance they've had this far. Will it be Brady that ends it? Will someone score? Put it in. The rebound was there. Oh, my goodness. Can Tom end it? Tom Brady maybe looking for a shot. Tom Brady scored for his team. Eight minutes, 44 seconds. Messi's out there. Second and three for the Dolphins at the 45. Messi play action, though he's not going to get it. But it will be Jalen Waddle who will get the Dolphins inside the red zone and more. Down to the seven. We should see Messi get the ball. If the Dolphins get in, Messi moves on in this King of the Hill matchup again. Will Messi get a first and goal? Messi, no. Play action. They're going to go to the tight end. He's going to go down at the one-yard line. Maybe Messi will punch it in. And, of course, at the one-yard line, they're going to go five wide. That makes a lot of sense. Will they score a touchdown? No, Tua is sacked and loses seven. Eventually. And this looks to be the final play. As long as they get up before zero seconds, it will count. It's off. Tua going to Messi. Messi, though, and Messi! Messi! Oh, my goodness! He's taken down at the one! And he's eliminated from King of the Hill. And Messi's run at the top of the hill is over. Two goats remain. Tom Brady has now taken on Cristiano Ronaldo. And what will the challenge be between Ronaldo and Tom Brady? Whoever wins the championship first will move on. So we got Ronaldo and Portugal versus Argentina. Pretend this is the World Cup because it's not in FC 24. It's in the last FIFA game. So if Portugal winds up winning, we will do a Ronaldo World Cup celebration. He has one attempt. If he doesn't get it done and Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl, then Tom Brady moves on to the King of the Hill finals. It looks like one goal is going to do it. And Ronaldo has a ton of space here. Ronaldo, he's not going to miss from there. And Cristiano Ronaldo has put the pressure on. And now Alvarez sprinting downfield. He's got Messi up top. Will he pass to him? Messi! What a game! Messi ties it up. And now it's one to one. That would be a heartbreak for Ronaldo fans everywhere. They get the ball out. Will they have one last push at it or will the whistle blow? And we head to extra time. They're going to give the possession here to Portugal. They're letting it happen. Ronaldo's open. He has Ronaldo for the win. Ronaldo scores. And it's game over. World Cup to Portugal. A few moments later. And Tom Brady leaves the Super Bowl heartbroken as Patrick Mahomes defeats him in the big game. Which means our last King of the Hill matchup is Ronaldo versus The Undertaker. And what's the challenge for Ronaldo Undertaker? Who has more social media followers to end it? We start with the challenger, The Undertaker, on Instagram has a total of 4.9 million followers. Which means Ronaldo needs 5 million or more followers on Instagram to win. And luckily for him, he has over 600 million as Cristiano Ronaldo defeats The Undertaker. Which means Cristiano Ronaldo is the last GOAT standing. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.